What's up guys? It's my second day in Beijing. I just left my house. Uh, I slept like a baby for, I don't know, more than 10 hours, I guess. Uh, yeah, kind of jet lagged and also tired because I didn't sleep the previous night. If you're wondering where I'm walking, I'm also wondering. Uh, I'm trying to find a shortcut or so, but it's, I don't know where I am. Let's see. There's like a huge wall and smaller wall on my both sides. Feels like I'm going to somebody's backyard. But let's try to find out. I'll show you. If this is the shortest route to the subway, I'm scared. Ooh. And it will succeed. That was a shortcut. I'm trying to find Walmart. Since it's Chinese New Year today, so Happy New Year. Basically, everything is closed now, which makes things a little bit harder. But I would really appreciate if I could find a hair dryer. Ooh, it's sunny. I can't believe I'm in Beijing. That is so random. It's quite warm day, around a couple of degrees, I guess. And tomorrow is supposed to be even warmer, like seven degrees, which is awesome. You know, you saw the piles of snow in Finland when I left. So, yeah, I, I really like this feeling. It's kind of like, you know, spring is coming. Yeah, and I don't wonder, like the Chinese New Year is called Spring Festival. So it starts to feel like spring. It's like a bit hazardous to walk around and film because the cars are driving over you. But I guess we'll survive. I used to work here like the building behind me. I did my internship there This feels so strange like this crossroads uh, Used to be or I, I believe it still is one of the busiest in whole of Beijing and look how empty it is Like there are absolutely no people People here because of the Chinese New Year So strange different to walk here in Beijing right now uh, compared to 2015 when I did my internship here. Beijing was so polluted that time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've seen all of these buildings that time. Well, I don't know what the situation is now, but at least yesterday and today the air has been pretty clear. I found it and it seems to be open. Let's try to get in. that thing drives me over. Hmm. Apparently only downstairs is open. Let's see what's there. Some cakes here. Ooh, I got myself a shopping cart. It's open! I'm so happy. If you need any Chinese New Year decorations, here you have them. Oh, I found them, hair dryers. My days are saved. <laughs> that was a successful uh, shopping. <laughs> yeah, I'm super happy Walmart was open and I could buy pretty much everything I was looking for. It's getting now a bit darker or I don't know, sun is setting, so not super exciting second day in Beijing, but at least very, what's the word? Productive, that was the word, <laughs> to 
took me a long time. And I'm happy I could use my foreign credit card. It's always a little bit of hassle if you use a foreign card. Because that, that's the word they use when you try to buy with you know, a normal MasterCard. I could do that. Let's see if they charge me RMB or did they charge me Euros? I really hope that that was RMB, otherwise that was expensive. I haven't found any restaurant that will be open. I found a couple of coffee shops but not really like restaurants where you could have food. I might have to have that cup noodles. Like seriously nobody. Finally a restaurant that's open and it's not Western, although it's Japanese. I'm starving, let's get in. Hey, I ordered a simple meal I thought. <laughs> And boom, this is what I got. Like, this is the one I ordered and all of this came with it. And apparently you're supposed to, like, um, use this one to crush these seeds and then combine it with this sauce. I have no idea what I'm doing, but... Gotta keep my house. <laughs> there are so many lights here. <laughs> Almost all the restaurants were closed. <coughs> I was happy to find that one Japanese restaurant that was open. Huh. Here seems to be another one. But anyhow, they seem to all close around 6 p.m. The latest. So I thought I would want to show you guys what I bought today in Walmart. So here's my little shopping haul. First things first, hair dryer. Um, that's about it. Uh, then I got myself a little pot so I can, you know, boil water or heat up whatever leftovers I have. Water cooker, tissues. These we call Miraclean in Finland. They are for, like, very good for erasing stains. So stain eraser. I'm not sure if that works the same way as, as those ones in Finland. And just some random cleaning stuff more. <sighs> You're gonna need this when you brush the toilet. You know, in China, people always have these um, cups or what are they called? Like cups you can store like coffee or tea in it like hot water and i really wanted to have something cute but in walmart the selection was very limited actually i wanted to buy a mug but they just didn't have mugs so i thought that i might as well buy one of these because eventually i'm gonna need one so this looks a little bit what do you think i think it's not the prettiest color i mean well, that's what I got. I think in real life it looks a little bit better than in the picture. It's kind of rose gold, if you want to put it nicely. <laughs> you know, some mangoes. This was interesting. I actually love these. They're a dried octopus or dried something sea food, anyhow. I love these. I hope it's the one I think it is. I'm not sure though. More cleaning utensils, hand wash. These are my all-time favorite Japanese products. Uh, Shiseido shampoo. This is pretty good. And also by Shiseido, I think, is this perfect wig. But this one says double wash. And in Japanese, it says something meku mo. Something, something, something. <laughs> I cannot read it, maybe you can. This product line I really love, so I'm just happy to find it. This is very good, um, like cream. I actually use it for face, but I'm not sure if it's meant for face. Maybe it's meant for baby's butts, or that's what my sister always says. 
but this again really is a lifesaver if you have like super dry skin as I have and you know the Beijing air is so dry that it's gonna you know dry your skin even more and it's gonna come crumbling down uh, chopsticks washing my clothes washing detergent that's about it almost I hope this is for washing dishes I wasn't really sure I didn't recognize the characters and yeah some garbage bags so all in all I'm pretty satisfied with what I got um, I was actually a little bit surprised that or not surprised but it kind of um, shocked me a little bit that my Chinese is not as good as I thought it to be or I mean that I actually would need a lot more characters to get along for instance like buying this dish washing uh, detergent honestly I barely know any characters on the bottle which makes it a lot harder <laughs> to buy things you know in Germany I felt like my German language sucks and you know my Chinese will be better the difference is that I can actually read quite a lot in German but I cannot speak so well whereas in Chinese I can always come around the situation one way or, or the other but reading oh my god that's difficult so I have to enroll into Chinese classes as soon as possible this is insane I opened this mango box and oh mango bag look they are single packed look at the amount of plastic waste that's just insanity mm -hmm.